Hello everyone, my name is Anushka Saxena and in this video we are going to discuss the interdependence of the three sectors. So before knowing the interdependence, let's know and learn what these three sectors actually are. Number one, primary sector. When goods are produced by exploiting the natural resources, these activities come under the primary sector. The primary sector is also known as agriculture and related sector. For example, mining, agriculture, dairy, etc. This is a picture showing mining which comes under the primary sector. This is also a picture showing an activity which comes under the primary sector. Now, the secondary sector. When natural products are changed into other forms through ways of manufacturing, these activities come under the secondary sector. This sector is also known as industrial sector. For example, factory, mill, industries, etc. This is a picture showing activity lying under secondary sector. Now, tertiary sector. When services are produced for, de for development of the other two sectors, these activities lie under the tertiary sector. It is also known as service sector. For example, transport, banking, education, etc. This is a picture showing aeroplane, which is a medium of air transport, which comes under tertiary sector. Now, let's know the interdependence of the three sectors. First of all, importance of primary sector for secondary sector. The raw materials for secondary sector are obtained from primary sector. So if there will be no raw materials, there will be no production. That is why primary sector is important or essential for secondary sector. Now, importance of primary sector for tertiary sector. So, there, since there will be no raw materials, there will be no goods produced and thus there will be no need for services and we will also not be able to provide these services. That is why primary sector is important for both secondary and tertiary sector. Now, dependence of primary sector on secondary sector and tertiary sector so, the primary sector is dependent on the secondary sector as the goods produced by the primary sector are made useful by the secondary sector. So, there will be no use of the goods produced by the primary sector if there was no secondary sector. Now, dependence of primary sector on tertiary sector. So, the goods produced won't be able to be transported and also the people won't be interested to work because of absence of services. Thus, we have learned how primary sector is important for the other two sectors and also the importance of other two sectors for the primary sector. Now, the importance of secondary sector for primary sector that we have discussed earlier. Now, the importance of secondary sector for tertiary sector. So, if there won't be any goods produced, there will be no need for transport and also people will not be able to afford all services because of less jobs and less income. Thus, secondary sector is important for both primary and tertiary sector. Now, let's see how secondary sector is dependent on the other two sectors. So, secondary sector is dependent on the primary sector as we have discussed earlier and when it comes to how is secondary sector dependent on the tertiary sector, so the goods produced won't be able to reach the consumers and the workers will also resist living in a society without the necessary services. Thus, we have discussed the importance and dependence of the three sectors on each other. Thank you so much for watching.